welcome back to my channel. I can actually start this video today. I've not got any distractions. I've not got Patrick with me. I've got no one with me. I'm on my own. Also, quick disclaimer, I did film this video yesterday, watched it back and didn't realise that the boiler was not playing. It was on one yesterday. So I had to delete all that footage and redo it, which I didn't mind at all because I love this makeup look. Although I always feel like when you redo something, it's never as good. But I feel like it's turned out okay. I'm really happy with it. So everything I use in this video is all drugstore. And honestly, there's some products I am obsessed with. Obsessed with. So if you want to find out how I created this look, please keep watching. Bye. I'm sorry so up close and personal today, but I'm just not feeling this background. I didn't like the reads that was there last time, so they had to go. But I'm trying to figure it out. I'm going to go shopping for some things to put in my background later on. Because when I watch other people's YouTube, I always look at the backgrounds and think, oh, that's nice. Them fairy lights are cute. I feel like no one should be very close to me today, so apologies in advance. But yeah, <laughs> I'm really insecure about my eyebrows. I shaved them off when I was in high school, which was not the brightest idea. Okay, so to start off, I'm just using the NYX Brow. But I'm just going to use the shade Brunette. And all I do is I kind of overdraw them ever so slightly. Just fill in any sparse hairs that I have. And then when I got to the front, I just changed the motion of my pencil, so I started brushing up. This mirror's broke as well, so if you see me, like, in and out, that's why. Really strong feeling that I'm going to prefer yesterday's tutorial. <laughs> Damn you, boiler. So I just pick up the Rimmel Lasting Finish Concealer. This is the thickest thing you will ever use in your life. It's good for carving out eyebrows, and it's good for covering any veins on your eyes, which apparently I have quite a few. Just carve out my eyebrows and then blend it down. I'm always scared of sounding really boring on tutorials. I mean, on other ones where you're a bit more chatty, you can kind of get your personality across. On these ones, I'm always like concentrating, so I'm like, oh, I hope no one thinks I'm boring. Yeah, this is really pale, so I'm probably going to look ill for the next five minutes. Just pretend that I don't. So I'm just going to buff it out with this fat brush. By the way, I don't really know makeup technical terms, so if you hear me say something and I'm like, this is a fat brush or this is whatever, just ignore me. I'm really feeling this eyebrow pencil. It's very similar to the MAC one or the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Oh my days, I look so ill. <laughs> Mum, <laughs> I was like, Mum, I need to finish this tutorial off and she was like, in other words, get out. I was like, yeah. Listen, I could not for the life of me find a transition shade in the drugstore. I think this is better personally because it's kind of like a two-in-one product. So I'm going to use the NYX Matte Bronzer as my transition shade. I used this yesterday as well and it looked really nice. So I'm just going to take this on a MAC 217 brush and blend that into the crease. You literally need the tiniest bit as well because it's so pigmented. So once that is blended in, I'm taking the Maybelline Nudes palette. I didn't actually have an eyeshadow palette from the drugstore, so I went to Boots yesterday and picked this up, and I actually really like it. So it's got quite like nudes, bronzes, quite dark colours in there as well. So I've decided to go for like a bronzy, smoky eye. I'm just going to add a little bit more depth into the crease. So I'm just going to take these two shades on the end, mix them together, and then apply them in the crease. Make sure you tap the excess off your brush just so you're not putting too much on there okay that's dark just make sure the transition shade is handy just so that I can keep going in and blending the two colors together it's probably not great that this brush is still a little bit wet I got a wash this morning I thought it'd be dry by now but apparently not so just keep going in with the transition shade and blend them colors together you want it all really gradient so it's not like black brown <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm just going to go back in with the concealer and just cut my crease. This is the easiest way to do a cut crease. Isn't makeup weird? Just make sure you're really careful with the concealer because you just don't want to go too high with it. So I've just set that with some translucent setting powder and I'm just going to blend over that just to make sure there's no harsh lines. 
back in with the nudes palette and I'm going to pick up the gold shade right here. <laughs> I had to be careful then. I'm just going to spray my brush with a little bit of the NYX Dewy Finishing Spray just to intensify the colour a little bit. I'm so so surprised at how pigmented these colours are. They are actually beautiful. That palette as well was £7. Seven pounds. This one's nice as an everyday eyeshadow because it's got really neutral colours in it. I'm just going across three quarters away of the eye. Three quarters? I'm going three quarters across, if that makes sense. Feeling this eyeshadow. I didn't actually apply the... I didn't actually apply this yesterday and I much prefer it today. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. I like a chicken dinner. So I'm completely happy with how the gold looks on my eye now. I don't know why I'm doing all this with my hands. <laughs> but I'm just going to go in with the brown shade next to the gold that we use, which is this one right here. I'm just going to blend that through the outer corner of the eye and just kind of blend it up ever so slightly. Of course, just keep your little blending brush handy just so you can keep going over the colours. I usually like the Swiss Chocolate, Cocoa Bear, things like that, but these are quite dark and quite cool toned. So yesterday I decided that I wanted to add glitter to this look. Of course, it's me. So I just used the Collection 2000 Glam Crystal Eyeliner. So all I do is just take the brush out and then pop it on the back of my hand. Pick the glitter up on the back of my hand and then press it onto the gold. This just makes the look 10 times more glam. And you know I like glam. If you follow me on Instagram, by the way, my Instagram is MadisonZara underscore, just saying. <laughs> you'll know that I love glam. This product is life. I picked it up yesterday and I'm so surprised by it. It really reminds me of the MAC Gold Glitter. I feel like because you don't have to put any glitter glue down, it's so much easier to use. And I paid... I think I didn't pay any more than £4 for it, which I think is amazing. I would usually go in with a liquid liner, but because I've got glitter on, I feel like the liquid liner goes a little bit bumpy. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. I've heard so many good things about this, so I'm hoping it's good. Don't look up because you will get glitter all over your lids. <laughs> you just need to wait for it to dry and then you can look up like I just did again. By the way, I don't really know what's going on with my voice today. It's really croaky. <laughs> Apologies. I'm going to do my wing with the Glam Eyes by Rimmel just because I'm used to it and I know it gives me a good wing. And then I'll fill the rest in with gel eyeliner. I have got clothes on, by the way. <laughs> So you definitely don't have to do that bit, I'm just rubbish with gel eyeliner. So then I'm just going to take the gel one and then pop that on the rest of my eye. I always find it easier as well if I slightly stretch my eye out, I know you're not really supposed to because it gives you wrinkles but at least I've got good eyeliner. Okay, so that's one eye done. I think we did okay with that. I'm just going to move on to the other eye and pray. I wish I didn't suit it because I have this struggle every day. So I'm happy with how my eyeliner looks now. Well, I'm not happy with it, but it's acceptable. I'm going to move on to mascara. So for this, I'm using the Maybelline Lash. Oh! So for this, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensation. Why can't I say Lash Sensation? Oh, I did. I just did. I make the funniest faces when I'm doing my makeup. I always think mums do funny faces when they're doing the makeup. My mum's always like... We're going to move on to lashes. So the ones I'm using are the Ardell Whispers. I've already worn them because I wore them yesterday in yesterday's video. But of course my boiler was just not playing yesterday. So I'm going to have to reapply them. My favourite glue to use is the Duo Glue. This makes your eyelashes bulletproof. And of course I'm going to apply them with some tweezers because 
I can't even apply eyelashes with tweezers apparently but if you can do it without tweezers then you are honestly like OG did I really just say that I don't know why I just don't get contacts because I literally cannot see I could get that laser eye treatment but imagine a laser in your eye a laser in your eye so my eyelashes are down and I'm gonna leave my eyes alone for a minute while I let the lash glue dry and I'm gonna move on to my face don't know what I'm doing for moisturizer I'm using the Garnier Garnier Gan I don't know how you say that skin active moisture balm I tried this yesterday and I wasn't a big fan of it but I wanted to do exactly what I did yesterday so we're gonna use it but for foundation I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me, my shade is 220, I much prefer this foundation to the old one that they used to do, it's so much nicer, this is the matte and poreless one, I don't really like a matte foundation so I am going to mix an illuminator in with it. The one I'm using is the 17 Skin Wow Highlighter. It's very similar to the NARS Coco Cabana which I love. I'm just going to mix them together with my finger and then just apply that. So I'm going to apply that using my Real Techniques makeup sponge. I much prefer this to a beauty blender, don't know about you. By the way, this foundation is a little bit darker than my face, but that's just because I've got fake tan on. Agents hate me wearing fake tan. I'm sorry. I love you. Moving on to concealer, I'm using the Anti-Age by Maybelline. I love this. I've just took the gross sponge off the top just because I prefer applying it with a concealer brush. Got a hair. Just apply that under the eye. I also love the Collection 2000 um, Lasting Perfection Concealer, that one's my absolute favourite but I used that in my last video and I wanted to change it up a little bit. So now I'm just going to blend that in using the same sponge that we use for our foundation. Concealer with a beauty blender is just a must for me. I feel like under eyes can become cakey very very quickly so this is a little lifesaver. I just kissed a sponge. Wouldn't be the first time. Joking. So then I'm going to use the same powder that we used on our eyes, which is the NYX one. I'm just going to pick that up on a makeup sponge and apply that under the eye. I'm just going to bake with this as well. I feel like it might be a little bit dry, but we'll see. Moving on to bronzer, I've got the NYX matte bronzer that we used on our eyes and this is the medium shade. I just picked that up on a big MAC fluffy brush. Get my sideburns away. So once the bronzer is down, I'm just going to wipe away the powder under my eyes just because I don't want them to get too dry, I don't want to leave it on too long. So then I'm going to move back onto the eyes. I'm just going to do under my eyes because I feel like it's a little bit top heavy at the minute. Going back in with the palette that we used before, I'm going to use this shade on the end which we put in our crease and mix it in with a little bit of the darker shade and then just apply that under the eye. Once I've done that, I'm just going to go back in with my mascara and apply this to my bottom lashes and through my falsies as well. Moving back to the face, I'm using the Sleek Contour Kit just to further define my cheekbones and contour my nose. So picking up a Real Techniques contour brush, I'm just going to suck my cheekbones in and apply that where the natural line is. <laughs> I told you I'm not good at makeup terms. And then just go in with a little angled brush and contour my nose. I just go in with a concealer again and just apply that down the centre of the nose and I have a hair on my face. So for blusher I'm going to use the, oh that's wrong way around, the Sleek Blusher. This is in the shade Rose Gold. Sorry about my nails, they need doing. But it's just this pinky, peachy, corally shade and then it has gold specks in it which I think is beautiful. I'm just going to apply that with a Real Techniques face brush. I'm just going to go on the apples of my cheeks. I always find it easier if I smile. 
I'm always smiling so that's fine. <laughs> Just kidding. Last but not least on the face I'm going to go in with my favourite highlighter which is the Cleopatra's Kiss palette by Sleek and, and I use the shade Sphinx it's just this gold shade right here it's beautiful so I'm just taking my Morphe M510 brush and I just apply that on the cheekbones above the lip a little bit above the eyebrows as well and then down the centre of my nose as well using the brush we use to highlight Definitely got that J-Lo glow. And then I'm just going to apply my NYX Dewy Finishing Spray. For lips, I'm using the NYX Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Nude. I'm going to overdraw mine slightly as well. And then I'm just going to colour them in. <gasps> Am I a drawing book? Once the lip liner is down, I'm going to take the Maybelline lipstick. This is in the colour Honey Beige. I feel like this might be a little bit brown for me, but it's fine. I actually really like that. And then I'm going to take the Pillow Plump by Soap and Glory. This one is a lip plumping one, which I'm not a big fan of, but you get what you're given. Even though I bought it myself. Popping. Oh, why did I just say that? I love this makeup look. I'm obsessed. So this is the finished result, guys. Thank you so much again for watching. You have no idea what it means to me that you are. I've posted all my social medias in the description box, just if anyone wants to know. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm in love with this look. I hope you are as well. If you recreate it, please make sure to tag me in any Instagram photos or send me photos. I would love that. Thank you so much for watching again. I'm going to video a get ready with me for Sunday. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And I will see you on Sunday.